Good morning guys. This is my Christmas tree. I don't decorate it because it's too much work. <laughs> There's Bing Bing. She's laying on her little spots to lay I put out here. She's so cute. And then it rained. So I woke up at 7 in the morning and it was raining. I love the rain. Look at this aloe vera plant. I bought it at Home Depot and I planted it out here. It's about the only thing that grows in Arizona. But it produces little saplings and then you can plant more. So we just have rocks in our backyard because it's Arizona. So you can grow grass, but it's just hard to maintain. So it's pretty sky. Some cl clouds poking through right there. Hi guys, I'm making breakfast. This is Jimmy Dean hot sausage. I just formed them into little patties. And I'm gonna make some sausage gravy. I got this uh, OXO, OXO brand. That's my favorite brand of kitchen gadgets, but it's like a ground beef smasher. I got it on Amazon. It has a little, what's that thing, a spatula thing on the side. So I'll show you when I start. After this cooks, I'm gonna add the butter and then show you. Biscuits are in the oven. Sausage is almost done. I just want to make sure it has a little crusty, like, burnt edge. It just tastes better that way. And then I'll start the gravy. So, sausage is cooked. I put a full stick of butter in there, and then I'll show you. Just sit down the flour in there at once. Then you just keep adding milk and stirring it just a little bit at a time. It'll keep thickening up. I have to tell you it's on medium heat, but you have to keep stirring. You have to ba really babysit this. So I have to add, keep adding just a little bit of milk and stirring because you want it to stay hot so that the flour cooks. Add some pepper. Could use my pepper grinder, but actually I will. I like a little bit of big chunks of pepper because uh, it needs a lot of pepper. Okay guys. Um, I like to add a little bit of this butter. This is really not healthy. It's basically all chemicals, but it has a really good butter flavor to it, so I like it anyways. And if you want to make this without sausage, if you're like vegan or something, um, you can just skip the sausage and just go straight to melting the butter. Oh, I better, I could, I could turn it down now because I have to make some scrambled eggs. And then, uh, it may not need salt because I put the sausage in there, but if you make it without sausage, you might want to add a dash of salt. This is how I make scrambled eggs. Everybody loves my scrambled eggs. My brother and sister were down here and said I make the best scrambled eggs ever. So I just put a splash of milk and I just whip the eggs. I only have four eggs right now because I have to go to the grocery store tomorrow. So you just have to whip it real good. It's gonna take a minute, so then I'll show you. You whip it until it has bubbles. You put a lot of butter. I only have four eggs, or else I would put more butter than that. So if you have like six, just multiply the butter, or eight eggs, depending how large your family is. I'm gonna wait for that to melt, and I'm just gonna dump the eggs in there. Notice the color on these eggs. There's really dark yellow. It's because they're uh, cage-free organic eggs. They're just a lot healthier than the regular eggs, but if you can't afford the organic eggs, these ones are, or regular eggs are just healthy too, so. Eggs are one of the healthiest things that you can uh, eat for protein. This, right, when it gets like this, then you add the salt. Never add the salt before, because it will make them less fluffy. Just cook them until you see they're not like wet and mushy looking. I don't want to overcook it either, so I just let them sit in the pan so some of the moisture comes out of there. And my daughter's making coffee. We got pumpkin spice. I grabbed two bags of those because these are going to be out of season. And the maple pecan was my favorite, so I'm going to have to find one for the winter time. I told you guys I use real butter, uh, but I didn't say why. It's because it's a lot healthier than that hydrogenated oil tubbo butter stuff. I wanted to show you. The eggs are usually fluffier. It's because I was concentrating on the video. I over whipped them is the problem. So they're like scrawny little looking eggs, but they'll, they'll still taste good. And then I put some butter on the biscuit for the sausages and I'm going to put some gravy on it. Oh, this handle's in the way. I always make a mess. 
It's just what happens. Now that's a delicious breakfast. I usually only make big breakfasts on the weekend because my fiance is home. So you gotta spoil your man and they will spoil you and buy you Victoria's Secret. That's funny. You know that WAP song that girl says she doesn't cook or clean? I thought that was pretty funny. That girl from the WAP song doesn't know. Food is the way to a man's heart. I do eat a big breakfast on the weekends, but it always makes me tired is why I don't like to eat it on the weekdays. So to help me digest my food, I usually drink some apple cider vinegar. I have to get the, um, the one including the mother, it says. So I just put like a tablespoon in a glass of water and then I drink that and it gives me energy. You guys saw my kitchen was spotless, but I cook all the time, so this is what happens. I made cinnamon rolls, made dinner last night, and made biscuits and gravy, so I'll show you when it's finished. It's 11.30 a.m. now, so I'll see how long it takes me. And here's my dinner mess. I made oh, gratin potatoes and hot wings. I always leave my dinner mess because I get so tired after I eat. Okay, guys, got the table cleaned off. I got a gift prepared to wrap. Christmas and then here's my clean kitchen. I got a load of dishes in the dishwasher. This thing has to sit here because the water always spills out and I forgot to put it on here so there's water spill everywhere. So I got two things of dishes and then now I'm gonna make some fudge and make a bigger mess. What time is it? It's 1.50 so two hours and 20 minutes. I took some uh, dishes out of the refrigerator. I cleaned this yesterday so it's kind of organized. I threw more food in there but this is I drink uh this bone broth mixed with kefir in the morning and some turmeric for my uh, tendonitis and plantar fasciitis. It's inflammation so the turmeric helps with the inflammation. It's kind of gross but oh well. On to making the fudge. Sorry, the dishwasher is running, but these are all the ingredients for the fudge. It came with the milk, this, this chocolate, and the marshmallows. I love marshmallows, aren't they cute? And I put almost a cup of walnuts in here. I have to smash it with a mallet in a second. And it says put two tablespoons of butter in here and uh, this milk, evaporated milk, and the sugar. I forgot to put the sugar. So I'll show you. Okay guys, I put some of the sugar in, I'll throw the rest in there. And I wanted to show you my spatulas I got at Walmart. Uh, these ones right here are awesome. I have some that are less flimsy too, but these are silicone, so you can, it says heat resistant up to 450, so I always cook with these. They're awesome, and then you can pull this part off so you can clean it out. So for a while I didn't clean it out, I noticed it was all nasty in there. So it says steer it. Oh, I need to get like a, uh, what's it called? A tripod. I just smashed this with the mallet. I got this at Ikea. I love my kitchen tools. I have to wait for that to come to a boil. I'm supposed to be steering constantly, but I use this pan baking spray in here. It said to use foil and then spray it, but I didn't read the directions well. So I have to wait for this to boil and then four minutes it has to boil and then add the chocolate chips and the marshmallows and the walnuts. Okay guys it's been uh, boiling for four minutes. It smells really good like butter. Whatever you do do not burn yourself on this. Sugar mixtures get like the hottest of anything. Don't ask me how I know but it's the worst burn ever. So let's add the marshmallows. Can you see? I said take it off the heat, that's why. Oh my gosh. Get a marshmallow. I'll show you in a sec. And the chocolate. Yes, I'm fine. I'll put it back. I'll turn the heat off, but these electric stoves don't. Okay, here we go. Yum. Good. That 
chuck it in there. I'll have the walnuts last. Oh, the, the marshmallows are just sitting at the top of the chocolates at the bottom. That's funny. It's called folding technique. I took a cooking class in high school, but mainly it was just trial and error, learning by mistakes. I decided to make some fudge for my fiance because he's sick, but he still has an appetite. So I've just been staring at that box of fudge. He did ask for it one day, but my leg was hurting and my foot was hurting. After doing those dishes for two hours, my shoulders are killing me. Just from looking down too long, because your head weighs like 15 pounds or something. Ooh, I love fudge. My mom used to make fudge at Christmas time. Ooh. It's mixed good. And then, probably shouldn't have had it on my feet. Sorry. I actually did the timer for six minutes because I was, didn't want it to beep for, for you guys. So, just hold it off the heat while I mix this in. Walnuts are a good nut to use in here because it just, it's not really a sweet nut, so it balances out the sweetness of the fudge. Then let me bring you guys over here so I can put it in the pan. Let me see. Here we go. It's already starting to get hard. So I'm hurry up. I should leave some in the pan so I can lick it out after it cools off. I don't want to burn my tongue. Let's just flatten it out. off of the thing. It's already getting really hard. Uh, that's good like that. If you guys want to make this fudge, this is the only mess it made. Usually when I bake stuff, there's a huge pile of mess. This was just to measure the walnuts. First I thought it was going to be half a cup, so I used a cup to measure it, but normally I would just pour it, eyeball it, and pour it into a plastic bag. 